Well, I'm, I'm, like I said, I, I've been saying it's a bit nostalgic, it's a bit, uh, bit, bit uh, emotional, very sad to be our last one. We've been doing this for 30 plus years, so to say this is the final night. And I, don't, I won't get a chance to see these guys on regular, you know, I at least look forward to at least one time a year I'll get to see the, these guys. Right. And now that, who knows when I'll see them again. So it's, it's a bit sad. So I'm going to try to take it a moment and, and just take it all in and, and let it last. Is this on top of the previous ones you've been to or you don't know yet? Or? Well, I mean, I don't know about the event itself, but certainly for the memories it will be la it'll be the biggest one because it's the last one. We always remember the last. Right. Save the best for last. Right. Hey, what's the, what's the next fight you're calling? Which one you're looking forward to next? Uh, well, the next one is at the end of this month, you know, next week. Next week, the, the Luis Ortiz and Deontay Wilder. Yeah. Maybe I'll be up in the, I'll be in the booth in the, in the arena. Uh, that's going to be a great fight because Deontay Wilder is one of my, become one of my favorite fighters because in a heavyweight, those punches and bunches, action back, you know something's going to happen with him. But I'm telling you, the semifinal with Leo Santa Cruz, Leo Santa Cruz is my favorite fighters. So Leo Santa Cruz is Miguel Flores. Look, from top to bottom, they line up. One thing about PBC, the first fight, to the, you know, all four fights could be our standalone fights. Now they're all four of them on pay-per-view, you know better, you know better action, you know better uh, place of admission. What do you think about Leo, Leo Santa Cruz next year? We think this guy's calling him out. Yeah, Locally, Javon, Gary Russell's Javon, calling him out. And Javante Davis. Javante Davis, 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 you know, even uh, the champ is fighting this this weekend, Miguel Berta is calling him out as well. What do you think about Leo Santa Cruz? I think, look, Leo Santa Cruz is one of my favorite fighters because he understands that he's always in top shape. Value. He does, he, because the fans, <laughs> with their money's worth, he always comes in, but, you know, it's, he, he gets it. He understands you got to have an obligation to the fans to give him the best fight possible, and he does. He doesn't shortchange him. Look, put him against Tank Davis, Gary Russell. I love Gary Russell. I love Tank Davis. I love these guys. Put him in against him and see what happens. All you can do is put the guy, two guys together and see what happens. Why talk about it? If it ain't going to happen, no need to talk about it. But if the possibility can happen, let's make it happen. Appreciate it, Greg. I'm on the edge. Thank you. This area is standing on the top of the Javante Davis. What do you think about his fight against the New Yorkers game board December 28th in Atlanta, Georgia? That's going to make him fight. Gamboa comes throwing punches, man. Gamboa is an action packed guy. You know, he throws caution to the wind. But he also keeps that chin up there and his hands down. So he gets <laughs> tapped on that. So he makes it exciting. You know what I mean? He can bomb, with the, he can punch like a son of a gun for that weight. But he also, you know, he makes it, act, makes it an action packed, fan friendly fight because, you know, he's throwing punches, coming straight at you with that chin in there. Anything can happen. Do you think Max Javante Davis Javante Davis skills? I, 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 well, I think Javante Davis is one can fight. He's one of my favorite fighters. So is Gary Russell. They're local guys. You know, maybe that's a fight that could happen. You may have done, you know, look, they're having each one of them hard fighting opponents matching with each other.